as you watch this breathtakingly engaging footage of us digging a hole on a beautiful Sunday morning. Let's recap how did we actually get here and what's the game plan? In case you are wondering about the super professional excavation tools we are using, it was a Sunday and apparently a shovel is not something cruisers habitually carry on their boats, so no option to buy and no option to borrow. Our first quest ended in a successful extraction of our old Volvo diesel engine, but it also made us realize that we are facing even bigger adventure than we thought, and in order to fix our dream boat properly, we need to drop the keel. The engine was removed so we could get a full overview of the damage that was causing our boat to fill up with water every 6-8 to eight hours. decided we needed to see the full extent of the damage and for that we needed more access. In particular, what we wanted to inspect further was the area underneath the keel vault backing plates and areas where the keel was touching the bilge box and the bottom of the boat. Without the keel, the balance would be, well, non-existent. We needed her stable and getting her lower would also make our life easier during the repairs. Thus, quest number two, drop the rudder so we can drop our keel. Little bit of corazón. Corazón, aluminum. As usual, corrosion, the biggest fan of the salty environment, made things a bit more challenging than they would otherwise be. We naively hope that a thorough sweet water wash will do the trick and proceeded to try to figure out the next steps. They quickly figured out the proper sequence of disassembly to make sure we drop the rudder in a controlled manner. We thought that all we needed now was a couple of gentle locks to get it to go. But we quickly realized it is not going to be that easy. It was time to take out the big guns, aka PB Blaster. If you ever used it, you already know. If you haven't, just remember the name, you might need it one day. Did I mention already about corrosion being a challenge? Happy as a clam, we thought now it's gonna go smooth, but although PB Blaster took care of the initial move, the battle was not won yet. Corrosion on a boat is always a thing. With the humidity of the tropics, it gets worse. And if you throw salt water environment in the mix, it becomes a constant battle. If on top of all that you add galvanic corrosion, which happens when you put two dissimilar metals in contact with each other, well, then you get to do a lot of this. In this particular case, what we think was going on was that the shaft was fitting the housing very snugly in the first place, and after the aluminium housing oxidized, the friction between the two parts became even bigger. Eventually, after around half hour of hammering, which you are being spared through the magic of editing, it got loose enough that we could start the actual drop. 
housing was taken off and a line was attached to the rudder shaft. Next, the line was put through a block attached to our to redirect at a nice angle to our mast where we would use the winch to drop the rudder slowly. How proper of us! For this quest, turns out our rudder is made from high density epoxy foam and only foam. There are a few small patches of fiberglass where it was damaged previously and the shaft is stainless steel but it's hollow inside. What does it mean you ask? Well, what it means is it weighs close to nothing and what you are watching right now is a prime example of over-engineering. Turns out we could have just gone down, one of us could hold it while the other took the supporting blocks out. But what can I say? You live, you learn. And on the other hand, I guess if you are not sure, it's better to over than under engineer something. was dropped, achievement unlocked, and we could proceed to the next quest of dropping the heel itself.